Yeah, I'm really happy to welcome you today to the symposium on violence, and I'm really happy that so many are attending. And I have to say, I really, really feel honored that so many speakers agreed to talk to us today and tomorrow. I think the reason is why we're doing this symposium is that um, when I started here a year ago as a director, I had the feeling that we are living in a time where it's really important to have a closer look on structural, institutional, and physical violence, because I think this is something which is, at least to me in my lifetime, really quite obvious. And I thought it's important to try to do exhibitions on that topic. And we started here with three exhibitions. The one which is uh, here in the museum, Katie Nolan. The third one, which you can see in the tower, it's uh, because I live here. And the third one, which is not on at the moment anymore, is Mariana Zimnet, who did a show or a work which was dealing quite intensely with the violence of gender. And I'm happy also later on, I think she's still on her way, Mariana will join us and was also part of the thinking of this symposium. Maybe I start a bit with, uh, because I live here, because I think this is the most actual and most important exhibition in that context, because the works, because I live here, dealing all with structural institutional racism and violence that present an attack on our society. In the process, they document question on construct a national homogeneity in which racist violence in all forms is a commonplace, but on the other side, a phenomenon which for a lot of people, supposedly unaffected person, are not, often not aware of it. It was important for me to show that racism, anti-Semitism, and programs has been present in German society for decades and can't be seen as a temporary appearance. The second exhibition here in the museum Katie Nolan, in her works, I think she examined two different things. The one thing is, as you were, we somehow dealing with society. The one is the public space, which I think is the most prominent in her work, and the other is the media. And for her, it's important that every object, every element which we are conquering in the public space has an idea of form and materiality. So every fence, every wall, every sign, is something doing with our body, is somehow shaping our way of moving, of thinking and feeling. And I think going through this exhibition, this becomes quite physical, and I think you see that modernity, the material of it, are not really made for the body, but more against it. <clears throat> Katie Nolan already, 1970, sorry, 1987, she already wrote, I think, a really important essay, which is called The Meter Language of Evil, and there she describes America as a psychopath, which is on the one hand has no empathy, but it has on the other side a really high social intelligence in order to manipulate. The myth of the American dream, which is so present in the exhibition, has become a globalized re reality characterized by the glorification of violence, consumption, and exclusion. Living in such a reality, I'm really happy today and tomorrow that through the thinking of nine international thinkers, and most of them are theorists and activists, examining structural violence, specific form and violence in their diverse dimension. I think that approaches are really different, but I hope that it's open up a different form of thinking and maybe also new ideas. So I'm really grateful that the Deutsche Bank Stiftung made that symposium possible and I'm happy now to introduce Toby Müller, who's going to moderate the next two days for us, and to introduce him. Toby Müller is a freelance writer in Berlin. He was born in Switzerland and has been an art critic and editor at a daily newspaper in Zurich and wrote a lot of theatre, pop, music and cultural politics. In Berlin, he started to work as a freelance for print and radio, and also presenting many panels and curating conferences, for example, Surveillance, which he curated uh, January 2017. And he made a series, Making Sense of Digital Society, at various venues in Berlin, which were co-hosted by the Humboldt Institute for Internet and Society and the Federal Agency for Civic Education. At the moment, he's doing monthly together with Jens Balser, 
a talk with guests on pop music uh, videos at the Deutsche Theater in Berlin. And I'm now happy to welcome Tobi Müller on the stage. Thank you.